YouTube. So, the broker or the agent made a mistake when we booked this load. Come to find out, uh, they told me it was a live load this morning. It's a dropping hook on both sides. Can't beat it. Cannot beat it at all. Let's climb in here and uh, see what we got. Uh. All right. So, got a bunch of vacuum cleaners. A whole load of vacuum cleaners. Nice vacuum cleaners at that. Shoo, shoo, Bissell. All right, load is secure. Ah. So this load is going down to the Walmart distribution center in, um, what is it? Opelousas, Louisiana, which is just north. Of a Lafayette off of I 49. So we're going to check the lights, make sure the lights work. Anyway, guys, so I was able to figure out in my last video, I told you guys I made a big mistake. And that, uh, I think my pigtail is acting up because this light on this side is uh, working when it wants to. But anyway, that's why you pre-trip, guys, even when you drop and hook. But I talked to the agent. Uh, I got I got everything worked out. So yesterday, I made a mistake and I ended up double booking, thinking I had an extra day and a week, and I didn't. But it was all able to work out. But we have a lot of work to do. So we're gonna. Take this straight through. Because it's supposed to have picked up yesterday, but it's a drop and hook, thank God. Take this straight through down to Opelousas, Louisiana. Drop and hook. That got to get about an hour, hour and 15 minutes down the road to Port Allen, Baton Rouge. Get a live load that's going down to Laredo. So today is Friday. For some reason, I was thinking today was going to be Thursday and I had an extra day. So we're going to drive this straight through. It's about a six hour, six and a half hour drive. Straight through. Drop and hook, live load, live load about 44,000 pounds, my usual load, going down to Laredo. Although, I did find out the rate on that load has dropped. It used to pay like 1650 or 1680. Now it pays uh, 1500, but it's still like 270 a mile. So we'll take it, I guess. It sucks, but that's, it, it is what it is. But it's a contract low, so you can't bid on it. It's a dedicated contract. So, uh, we'll go down there and grab that, but it'll get me home for the weekend. And my pay period ends on uh, on Monday. So it'll get me an extra load in for the pay period. And uh, we'll break down revenue. I know y'all are still waiting on that video, but it is, it, it is coming soon. But the exciting news for today is we are doing a giveaway. We have another huge giveaway coming up. This is gonna be the biggest giveaway uh, that we've done. So, well, I say giveaway, it's a raffle. This is gonna be the uh, huge, 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 huge raffle which I will announce that later on uh, in the video today. But, uh, so stick around for that, definitely. But uh, it's, it's, I'm excited about this one. It's something that I wish that I could have for myself, but uh, the party that we've partnered with uh, wants to uh, bless somebody else. And so that's what, we're gonna, that's what we're gonna go ahead and do. So we'll discuss the details of that later in the video. And uh, we have a huge, huge, huge giveaway, guys. So, all right, y'all saw me seal this load and not take no vacuum cleaners out of there. Look, it's sealed, see? See? It's not going nowhere. All right. A 
It is freezing out here, guys. Freezing freaking cold, man. But yeah, so we're in Dallas, in Lancaster. We are literally right across the street from the uh, the school that I got my CDL from, from Frozen Food Express slash KLLM. That's where I got my CDL uh, a couple of years ago. Uh, right across the street. Literally, like right across the street. But we'll look into that shortly. But we're gonna get on out of here, get some miles behind us, and uh, get on down to Louisiana. And I think we're gonna take I-20 down to I-49. Take I-49 straight down there. So, let's roll. Buddy Shades. Speaking of giveaways, buys a buddy giveaway coming up soon. Y'all be on the lookout for that. So we're about to pass up where it all started. Package waiting for me at home from Buys a Buddy. I haven't opened it yet. I'll uh, check it out this weekend when I get home. But the fuel mileage on this truck, guys, has been excellent. I very rarely have to fill up. I can make it all the way from uh, from what is it? Uh, when did I fill up? I filled up out there outside of Laredo, up to Dallas, and I still have more than a quarter tank. I can make it down to Opelousas if I wanted to on just uh, one of my tanks. That's collectively. That's a how many miles is that? I don't know how many miles that is, but it's. Pretty good. So if y'all look right here in front of us, now it is Frozen Food Express. That's the terminal. Wait for these cars to come. But yeah, that is where I got my uh, my CDL from, right there, literally. There's a dark terminal right here to the left, right next door, and there's a, uh, a swift terminal uh, behind this one. But Frozen Food Express, FFB, was bought out by KLLM. Come on, y'all, come on, come on, come on. I got my CDL and got hired on to 
to do my year. With a lot of these companies, they require, so you can get your CDL for free. You do the schooling, get your CDL, you do six weeks on a road with a trainer, and then, uh, and then you uh, get hired on, you complete a year with them, and you don't, uh, you don't owe them anything. And I, that's what I did. I left there, y'all saw me with a Cardinal Logistics uh, beanie on the other day. It's because I used to, I used to run with them for a little bit. But yeah, shout out to uh, Jamal, wife, kids. We'll link up uh, someday pretty soon. Yeah, Jamal was my trainer, real cool, solid dude from New York. But he lives down here in the uh, Dallas Fort Worth area you now. Real cool, solid dude, knows the stuff. I remember the first time, uh, like the first day or two, I had started in training. He was like, hey, let me teach you how to back up into this dock. And I was like, I said, well, you want, can you let, let me try it first? And he's like, yeah, yeah, go ahead. I'm going to get a driver's seat. Man, I got it in a driver's seat. Whoop, whoop, whoop. He was like, what in the world? You done this before? I said, yeah. I said, once or twice. He was like, oh, okay. Well, this is going to be easy six weeks, huh? I said, yeah, pretty much. So, uh, but yeah, Jamal, comment down below. Uh, just so I can see what, I know you, he was telling me that he watches every day. We still keep in touch to this day. He said he and the, and the kids like watching the channel. Come on, Bob. This was the route for my CDL test too. Yeah, this, this was the route for my CDL test. And my, uh, some of my CDL training too. But yeah, Frozen Food Express, FFB, shout out to you guys, Jamal, White, Kids, shout out to y'all. Uh, we're coming up on uh, I 20 and Lancaster Road, Bonnie View. Your truck, you know where this is at. These ghetto uh, truck stops down here. But actually, I think that's a Frozen Food Express over here to our right, a trading truck. Actually, guys, now that I'm thinking about it, this month marks, I think, three years that I've had my CDL. Yeah, this month, this week is the week I got my CDL three, three years ago. What was it, four years ago? I think it was three years ago. Yeah, that's not a training truck. No, it's not. Anyway, let's knock out some miles. We got a busy day today. And let's still see if we can get home in the process. There's the Warner terminal to our right, if you uh, run with Warner. But uh, yeah, let's knock out some miles. And uh, we got a super busy day today.
some coffee. It's a nice cold day. And we're about to get back on this interstate. Put about 83 gallons in. Uh, this should definitely get us home. And, uh, well, to Opelousas is in home tonight. But uh, let's get back on this road. It is windy as heck. And so I'm trying to maintain <coughs> my lane with this, uh, this wind. So anyway, let's get back on this interstate. We still have, uh, how far away are we? About four hours, it's not too bad. So let's get on this interstate and uh, get some miles behind us. guys we made it here spots here are pretty tight
like it. All right, that should be it right there. I should just slap my tandem because I have too much of a tail. But. Connect, go grab our next one. I'll see how tight these spots are. It was freaking me out getting in here. Cause uh yeah, I should have slid my tandems, I had a lot of tail. I kept hearing a noise. It sounded like I was hitting up against it. the uh, this other trailer, but nope. Must have been the uh, the tires or the, the adjusting of the axle or something. But he said the drop here, and then behind us back there should be some some empties, and then we got about. An hour and 15 minute drive over to our. It feels like a kiss back here. Somebody pee back here. I don't know if you guys saw in the time lapse, we drove straight here, we didn't stop. Uh, I don't know if y'all could tell in the time lapse. Right when we came up to the scale house and we entered uh, Louisiana, as soon as we got to the sign, it closed. And I said, oh, thank you, Jesus. I did not have time for them today. All right, let's unhook this and get on out of here.
Chris pre-tripped, we're hooked up, checked out of the facility. So now we gotta go, uh, where are we going? We've been to this place so many times, I've memorized the address. All right, now do I wanna jump back on 49 or and take I-10 across or do I wanna take 190? What do y'all think? One ninety has a lot of lights. If I take forty nine down and take I ten across. The scales might be open. I have to deal. Actually, no, 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 no. There is no scale going down that way. Then I gotta go across the bridge. Let's stay on the interstate. Let's play it safe. Well, yeah, cause. There's gonna be a lot of lights on 190. All right, I'm gonna jump on uh, 49, take I-10 East, go pick up this load, maybe get something to eat in the meantime, and then shoot on home. Let's roll. Once again, Kane's to the rescue. It's freezing out here. But I haven't eaten all day. I know that's not good, but we've been moving, 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 moving. So let's get on over here to the spot and we'll talk about the giveaway. But uh, it's right over here around the corner. Uh, rush hour here. We just got the tail end of it coming across the uh, Baton Rouge Bridge. So, thankful for that. But let's get on over here and pick this load up. Ugh. All right, we made it here with about 35 minutes to spare. So, they stopped shipping out at uh 7 7 p.m so we made it here just in time so we literally today drove from dallas down here we're to opelousas louisiana then to baton rouge louisiana which is where we're at now and then i'm going home so i've got 
I think uh, about five hours, five and a half hours on my clock, something like that. And we got a, about a four hour ride home. So we're gonna be making it home with, by the skin of our teeth. If I don't have any traffic or anything, I've got plenty of fuel. Yeah, I've got plenty of fuel to get home, so we'll be good on that. Let my uh, battery charge for a little bit. I had my space heater on for a few minutes and I already drained the battery. <laughs> so I am going to be getting a fourth battery for this truck because the truck only has three batteries on it. There we go, 14.2 volts. All right, so as I was saying, turn my headlights off too. Uh, guys, we're doing a giveaway. Um, we're giving, so, so okay, let, let me back up. Y'all know that I was talking about giving away uh, or you're raffling off a truck in the future. That time is actually uh, come. Uh, we were gonna do it further along when I got a lot more subscribers, but an opportunity has presented itself for us to uh, to give away something huge on our channel. So DMH Logistics LLC reached out to me and um, they want to raffle off a truck and they're going to be using my channel to do so. So we have partnered with them. Uh, we have not worked out all the specifics yet, but I want to kind of give you guys a this we're, we're vulnerable here on the channel. I, I don't want to do anything without too too far in the dark with you guys. So we're, we partnered up and we're giving away a Freightliner Classic. It's got the same engine as mine. It's got a Detroit 12.7 engine in it. Um, in the future, we'll go over all the specs. We'll do a walk around of the truck and all that kind of stuff. But it is a uh, Freightliner Classic. It was recently leased on with Landstar and um, the truck is not being utilized anymore. The driver um, has chosen another route. And so uh, we're gonna be raffling off the truck. So here's what we do know as of right now. The, the raffle tickets are gonna be $100 a piece. And we're gonna be doing, um... sorry guys. We're gonna be doing a thousand um, raffle tickets, hundred dollar tickets, a thousand tickets. There will be a website portal put up in place for, um, and we'll have a thousand slots. You get to go on there and choose the numbers that you want. You can purchase more than one raffle ticket if you want to. So let's say you want number one, number a hundred, and one thousand. You go on there, you put the number you want, and it puts you in those slots. And there will be a, a website or a portal to show what numbers are available. And so uh, the money will not be taken up front. Um, you go in there, put the spot that you want, and then over, I don't know, two or three months or so, or when it closes out at a thousand entries, um, that's when the money will be paid up. That way, because if we don't get a thousand spots, then we're not gonna raffle off the truck. It's only gonna be raffled off if we get a thousand spots. And so uh, that's when it'll close out. So once it reaches a thousand, it'll automatically close out. So you get to go in and choose what spots you want. Uh, and then the money will be, uh, so everybody's, funds will be deducted all at once. So right now you don't have to pay anything um, once the portal is up. Once the portal is up, you go in there, choose what numbers you want. And then when the money is drafted, it'll be like a 48 hour to a week. I don't know what the time frame is gonna be. Um, so for whatever spots that you chose, the money will be deducted from whatever debit card or whatever you put, a credit card that you put on file. So there will be uh, a thousand spots open. So it's gonna be a huge giveaway. I originally wanted to purchase this truck. I still 
want to purchase this truck. But where we are financially and something else has come up that has come across my radar, I might be pursuing that purchase rather than this one. I mean, I would have loved to have the, what I'm looking at plus this FLD plus this classic. They all would have been in the same family. But um, this, it, uh, it's, it's just not going to work out that way. If I had time, eventually I would purchase this truck. So, so yeah, guys, it was previously with Landstar. It's been kept up really well. It was purchased in Houston. It's a majority been like a Southern truck, but we'll get more into the details of the truck. We're going to go live um, with uh, DMH Logistics and they're going to do a walk around of the truck. Eventually, I'm going to get out there to go uh, take a look at it. Um, you do have to be a U.S. citizen to, for legal reasons, for registration, all that kind of stuff. You do have to be a, a U.S. citizen uh, to purchase this truck, to, uh, per to participate in a raffle. And so there's still a lot of details being worked out, but I wanted to give you guys a heads up of what we have cooking in the background. So $100 a ticket and 1,000 entries. And so uh, you can purchase as many as you want. Like I said, when it comes time to close it, and I'll keep you guys updated, you can also go on, on the portal once it's set up to uh, see how many spots are still open and how soon it'll be to close out. Like right now, you don't have to pay anything. You just go on there, you select what you want, you which uh, numbers you want, however many you want, and the money will be um, deducted from your debit card, credit card, whatever you put on file. Uh, when it comes time to close it out, once we get to a thousand, uh, a thousand entries, and so, um, what, what else? So make sure you have that on your on whatever pay payment method you choose. Make sure the funds are there, because if they're not, you will lose your spot, and we will put them back up. And so it would not close out until we get a thousand entries. So this uh, raffle could be a week long. Or it could be three months long. But if you want to get your numbers in, right now would be the time to get, uh, to put your, what numbers you want to choose. But just make sure that when it's time to, to withdraw, that the funds will be there. Otherwise you will lose it. And it may or may not postpone the, uh, the, uh, the raffle. Because then there'll be more spots open. And we'll see if we can fill those spots. But we want to make sure we honor, they want a, they want a thousand entries. And so we want to make sure that we honor that. Uh, so yeah, guys, Freightliner Classic. We're doing a raffle on on the channel. I, I tell you, it hurts my heart that I wanted that, that I want that truck. But uh, right after I purchased this one, they contacted me and said, "Hey, if we have this truck for sale, you want to get it?" I said, "Dude, had I known that, had I known, like literally, guys, the day I I committed to purchasing this truck." It was either the following, like it was like later on that day they reached out to me or the following day they reached out and said, hey, you know, I was like, guys, if y'all had just reached out to me like a day or two before, I would have jumped on it. But I had already committed, the truck wasn't in my possession yet, but I had already committed to, to getting this one. And I didn't want to go back on my word on getting this. It's just, we already worked out a deal and we were already, you know, came to grips, came to an agreement what we were going to do on this truck. So I didn't want to go back on my word on that. So we went ahead and stuck with this one, which I'm not, I'm not regretting this truck at all because it's definitely grown the channel. It's gave us excellent numbers. Uh, but us being a building and customize it ourselves. And I don't know, we might raffle this one off. We might just do it as a giveaway in the future. Um, but also in order to win guys, you have to be a subscriber. So make sure you hit the subscribe button. We, we will be able to verify it if you are a subscriber or not. So if you want to participate in a raffle, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. And I will probably try to come up with other ways that we could probably add, put your name on the list as well. Uh, speaking of giveaways, we will be doing another Visor Buddy giveaway pretty soon. I will be doing one of them at random. And I will be carrying some Visor Buddy stuff here on the truck with me. So if I see you guys out in public, come say hi and you just get a free whatever Visor Buddy I have on me. So, uh, so yeah, guys. We're, we're raffling off a truck. I keep saying giveaway. We're raffling off a semi truck. And so uh, make sure either you or the person that comes with you to get the truck. The truck will be in uh, Montgomery, Alabama. Um, oh, duh. Second place. So the first place winner gets the truck. Second place, you are getting a headache rack, the cabinet with the three cabinet parts, a headache rack, and flatbed equipment. 
Second place winner gets all that. Third place winner, you get $5,000. I'm sorry, is it 5,000 or 500? I think it's 500. I don't know, third place winner, we're getting cash. We haven't worked out the specifics on that just yet. But the third place winner, you're getting cash. I think it's $500 in cash. So yeah, that makes sense, 500. So first place winner, you get the, the truck. Second place, the headache rack plus all securement equipment. Third place, 500 bucks. So, but you have to be a subscriber. So yeah, guys. So we're, uh, we're getting loaded now. Y'all can see the truck moving. We'll be out of here, uh, hopefully in the next 30 minutes or so. I'm going to haul Bud home. I'll be getting home super, super late, but uh, it is what it is. We had a, a really good week. We will, we, will, we will be breaking out the numbers um, here in the next couple of weeks, or, sorry, next couple of days to show revenue and everything. And uh, yeah, excellent day. You know, we went right past that scale house as soon as I came up to the sign. Because first, if it was green, like trucks pull in, trucks pull in. And then as soon as I came up to it, it closed. I said, thank you, Jesus. I do not have time for these people. And then the scale house, I misjudged it. The scale house coming off of 49, that it was a scale house going, coming out here. And uh, for some reason, they're always open. They were closed the majority of today. So that worked out perfect. Uh, this load here is 45,000 pounds. Um, but I'm kind of iffy about this load. I used to love this load, you know, before, but they've actually reduced the rate on this load. So this load, if I can find it, this load used to pay, uh, might take me a second to find it. Cause I've ran this lane for months. Oh, here it is. They used to pay, wow, used to pay 1700 Yeah, so one of the locations paid like 1711 And they have uh, another location that paid like 1690 I think it was. Now this lane pays 1500 bucks, guys. So I guess they, the contract ended and they rebid it and they were only able to get it for 1500 But uh, it's like two something a mile. Here, I'll tell y'all. I don't like using rate per mile because it... Uh, it's air miles and not actual miles. It's not uh, highway miles. So, oh, we're getting a little rough back there. Goodness. All right. So it used to pay like two ninety one a mile. Now it is paying two sixty a mile. So. I wanted to kind of boycott this load, and but with the race the way going the way they are, I guess just the way it is. But it gives me fifteen hundred dollars next day. So when I say next day, today's Friday, next business day. So it gives me fifteen hundred bucks on a truck to be able to deliver next business day. So fifteen hundred bucks within a twenty-four hour period, business period. I try to have between thirteen hundred to two thousand to two thousand dollars on a truck overnight. That way I can at least, if the rate per mile is not quite there, the revenue will be. Because I know if I can do 1,300 a day on the truck, that's 6,500. If I can do 2,000 a day on the truck, that is uh, 10,000. But as long as it can average out as about 1,500 a day, you know, we're okay. But we'll break down revenue in the future. But guys, my food is getting cold. Uh, make sure y'all subscribe because you can only win if you subscribe and stay looking out for the giveaway. So. I think that's it guys and look out for our advisor buddy giveaway as well so this is lone star texas ranger signing off i look forward to this raffle looking forward to it we will be hiring a third party to uh, operate pulling the names and pulling the numbers so y'all know we ain't cheating or nothing so fidel brad uh stuntman zeke dog riding with dj trucking with willie uh, all my YouTuber buddies, you guys can be a part of the raffle as well. Because we're hiring a, th hiring a third party, so y'all will be able to see it uh, online, you know, live as it's happening. So, but anyway, we'll catch you guys then. Y'all be safe out there on the roads. Hopefully there's no more ice and no more setbacks. So, we'll catch y'all at noon Central Standard Time on the next one.